Hey, what's happening everybody? Rajay back again. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to take a look at something a little bit different tonight. Actually taking a look at one from Stella Artois. This is actually their cider. So I don't usually drink ciders as much, but ended up picking this up a while back. It was a deal where you got this glass and this bottle for like part of their gift set. I think it was actually a deal I got for like $2.99 or $3.99, so I figured you can't beat that. Um, this one actually comes in at an ABV of 4.5%, so pretty decent, I guess, on the cider level. Uh, 1.8 ounces, so 24 ounce bottle. Um, nothing else really too much on the label. One thing I didn't realize is that, um, I don't know if it was all ciders are this way or not, but it tells you on the back here it's naturally gluten free. So for those of you trying to avoid gluten, this is actually something you can drink as well. Gives you all the nutritional facts, 120 calories per serving, three servings per container. So this will actually have 360 calories by the time I'm done drinking it. Uh, breakdown on all the carbs, uh, sugars, protein less than one so all that kind of stuff so they give you some of that nutritional stuff on the back if you're ever interested in checking this one out but let's go ahead and get it open and get it into the glass one thing they also note right there also it is made with hand-picked apples not sure if that makes much of a difference or not but they did note it out there now popping that top as I'm pouring I actually already am smelling that apple smell so got a decent aroma for sure I can already pick that up you take a look at it again you're not expecting a head really with the cider but nice clarity on the body you can see through to the other side and get a little bit of that carbonation when you were pouring a couple bu bubbles popping here and there uh, streaming up to the top kind of has what you would assume to be that kind of like a wine type look the color on it is pretty much amber type color get the light behind it and it really shoots through very nicely so yeah and when you get the light on it it kind of drops down to kind of like that strawish type color but a uh, decent looking cider nice apple smell coming right out off the aroma do you pick up a hint I think of that sweetness from the apples this kind of reminds me of some of the uh, I don't know what kind of apples they use but kind of like granny smith type apples you can definitely pick up some of the sugary type smell and you can tell it's going to be have a nice sweetness to it as well when you're actually smelling let's go ahead and get the taste that's actually not too bad kind of a semi dry cider nice pop of the apple flavor on the initial taste goes down pretty easy on the back end slight bit of a sting on the beginning of the tongue at that tip area like many of your other alcoholic drinks but it does pop nicely in the mouth has a nice effervescence with it a nice refreshing quality can feel a nice duration of the flavors kicking around I'm really being left with a lot of that sense of the apples gets into the cheek area very nicely it's got a nice light feel on it um, like the medium body but not too heavy now I do feel a little bit of that carbonation, uh, not overly carbonated, but as it actually goes down, I can feel a little bit of that happening in the chest. But for a sense of apples, this one does deliver very nicely. Kind of wouldn't be a bad one to have, I think, if you were looking for something on a nice warm day, you just want to kind of just relax a little bit. Maybe sit out on the back deck, do a little bit of light reading or something. Um, this is actually not a bad one to have at your side, but outside of that, nothing else really too much with it a little bit of a kind of an astringency after you swallow you do get a little bit of a pucker sensation but outside of that I mean it goes down pretty easy it's actually not too bad I haven't done a lot of ciders but this is actually not a bad one that I wouldn't mind drinking if I had to choose one not overly sweet you do have that sweetness in there but not overly sweet another one that could be something to go with a brunch as well pretty easily where you don't want to get too uh, too much alcohol going but you want something of a flavor I think it has a real nice flavor in this one so this is the Stella Artois cider if you've had it before let me know put some comments in the comment section but as far as ciders go it's pretty decent I would definitely say check it out if you're a cider fan with that all being said I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video 
I look forward to catching you on another one down the line. Keep drinking good craft beers, but, you know, try other stuff too. So, like I said, try a cider maybe once in a while. Cheers.